and Chris and welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, I am in love with this game. I just keep wanting to play it, but then I realize I have to record it. So I can't play it unless I'm recording it and ah. So here we are. We're back. This is episode two. Still. <laughs> Let me just talk to Kate. I love Kate so much. Poor thing. I hope I can help her. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. He sounds so creepy. So calm His voice. And, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Huh. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Uh -huh. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Of course you will. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but how did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? It's weird. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of creepy. To be honest. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Weird. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. No, photo of the squirrel. For the portfolio. Oh, he's so cute. He is so cute. Damn. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Rachel. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? Why? I'm curious why? about her. Sorry to pry, she says while well, prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those Why photos. did she give you? Oh, you talked to the police? Photos. Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Of course you will. Creepy. He's fucking creepy. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. 
All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. I don't know what that means. But okay. Hey, is that Warren? Hello, Warren. Max, come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. Right? She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Uh... He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> cool, I'll text you the info. Awesome, thank you. Can we? I don't feel like doing that. Ah, go take the bus. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. All right, putting some music on. Woo, music. I love the music, but it's all copyrighted. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. Well, I don't know if it's actually copyrighted because a lot of the music, like, I don't know. I don't understand copywriting. I don't understand how you get things. I don't know. 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 I'm just going to keep talking to the songs like covered up by my voice because I don't want it to keep telling me I have copyrighted videos. Stop it in my videos. Which I probably still will because I it sucks. But the video, the music is awesome. Yeah, I love the music. It's great. I really like it. It's really good. It's very soothing and Sam called it depressing because I was listening to the soundtrack in my car. And she thought it was depressing, and I was like, ah. but I like it. It's really good. It makes me feel very inspired and just relaxed and stuff. Yeah, it was great. This, this bus ride is taking a really long time. And um, I think that's the lighthouse, and we're all going to die. <laughs> we're all going to die. All of us are going to die. It's the end of the world. It's snowing, and... And, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> if you didn't know it, but I'm crazy.
Oh my god. We finally made it to our destination. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. Oh no. I wouldn't dream of it. What? Be a millionaire. What? Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport, Newport? just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Oh, Max. Thanks, I sure need it. It's so nosy. But I did go and talk to her, I guess, so. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. Good for you. Brent Lake, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Am I gonna die? <laughs> hey, what is this? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay. Save our bay. And the man made trout in the bay. Speak to you. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. Bali High. the whole of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <sighs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Okay. How far? Yes, we are open. Yes, we are open. Bacon and eggs. Oh, bacon and eggs. Can I talk to you, man? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Dude. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Because of missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. Excuse me. I want you I have to, to read my oh. horoscope. I want to know what you think of Rachel Amber. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay boop, is booming. Boop, 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 the paper boop, can only boop, talk about boop, that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber! You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? All right, you are a waste of time. Homeless. 
her. Just wanted to see how you got in there. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. Oh, thank you. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Uh. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Mm -hmm. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. Yeah. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? Pretty much. A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Joyce Price. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's <sighs> a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job <laughs> once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Snoopy, Snoopy, Snoop. Oh, I remember him. I wonder if I can go around and talk to him. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Huh. Okay. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. All right. Let's go into the diner now. There's a picture on the side. I just wanted to see if it'll do anything. Smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day. Eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay, thank you. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Mean ass people. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, okay. please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <laughs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her hand. A pot dealer? <laughs> Which is fucking me. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure uh, smells uh, good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but 
She can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? I don't want to say anything so much. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. Not ever. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. No. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Why? I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's He's all probably just misunderstood. I should finish up my coffee <laughs> and get to work. I don't feel like talking right okay. now. Okay. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. All right. Over now. <laughs> Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. <laughs> like you. Tick. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of stock. <sighs> That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Excuse me. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Your dick. Hey, Joyce, can I talk to you? Drool. Want everything. Guess I can't talk to Joyce. Do I have to sit in this booth? Guess so. Oh, I didn't talk to Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, bad boy. <laughs> so where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. <sighs> See you later, Max. Uh, all right, I guess we'll sit down. See it. And there she is. A lovely young woman. <laughs> How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. 
No. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. Yeah, but he's kind of creepy. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does yeah, care about but... her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm -hmm. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but... I'll stay out of his Cold. business. I won't patrol Blackwell, <laughs> and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get also down to the doesn't even go to school. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet. Uh. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. Drinking my coffee. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep no going back in time. Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No. Incoming. Are you bringing my food? Already? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Yay, food! I'm hungry. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. <laughs> Mom and Max, together again. Yay! And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. <sighs> I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. No. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one <laughs> damn slap Max is starving. She just fucking car. That'd be me. I'm like awkward. Your car is still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Oh my god. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Some guess. old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets.
That Keith. was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Let me rewind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Oh, shit. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so ah! wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. That's not, it wasn't even one of the choices, was it? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. I feel like I should fit, remember this. Three quarters, a dime, or not a dime, a nickel, and six pennies. Okay. Why is it going so damn slow? Okay. Okay, Max, I'm help. All of it. Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh, I did Two quarters. Fuck! What am I doing? Why am I doing math right now? 86 cents! 86 cents, bro. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Ah. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's act. <sighs> okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Why did I say thirteen? <laughs> thirteen is a hell of a lot. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven. All right, let's try this again. Why are you even fucking quizzing me right now? Okay, Max. I already did money. All right, we'll just mm. some money. Clearly, I'm rich. Eighty-six cents. Eighty-six cents. That's right. So that was cool. Sure. All right, cigarette. I'm pretty sure you have six. Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh. Wait. It did not look like a fucking penguin. Oh, a panda. It didn't a even give me the choices. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <sighs> you have powers. No. I told you that. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. 
I am freaking out about what just happened. You <sighs> have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. Uh, like what? I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. You bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it is a cockroach. Damn it, I fucked it up. This is... Right. I'm going to predict. Tucker drops his mug. So what? The cop gate. Well, let's. Just an. This is getting. The jukebox goes crazy right. as a cockroach crawls on it. Let's try this. Bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. It does, cause like. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where really? Did you go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test it. Oh, you. great. This you is like the butterfly effect. His okay, nose started bleeding when he Show kept the fucking, fucking shit up. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what we do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. I you don't call me once in I have five to answer years her. and I'm all over some biatch you see every day at school. I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. No. I have to answer! Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? I had to answer. Kate Thanks, needs Max. me. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Calm the fuck down, Chloe. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Okay. I'm ready for thirds. I'm gonna end the video there. Chloe needs to fucking get the stick out of her ass and calm the fuck down. Not everything's about her. I love Chloe, but Kate is her friend, and Kate is going through shit right now, and she needs a friend right now. So, bye, Felicia. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because I post a video every single day. Bye, guys.